Hey guys, uh, we are going to be covering tangents and intersections of conics in this session. Uh, let's get going. So with intersections, there are three situations that could happen. So the first one is when you have two intersection points. The second one is when you have it as a tangent. And the third one is when there's no intersection. There we go. So basically these are the three situations. Now from year 12, you would have seen this with um, discriminant. So I'm just going to go through that very quickly. So if you remember discriminant, it was with a little uh, triangle symbol and it was b squared minus 4ac. And you might also remember that if b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0, then that's when intersection at two points happen. And if b squared minus 4ac equals 0, then it is a tangent. And finally, if b squared minus 4ac is less than 0, then that means there's no intersections. All right, so let's have a look at an example. So here's an example. Determine if y equals x plus 1 intersects the ellipse at x squared over 9 plus y squared over 4 equals 1 at two points. Or is it a tangent or does it not intersect at all? And I've been asked to give coordinates if applicable. So the first thing what we want to do is we're going to try and substitute um, x plus 1 we're going to try and substitute x plus 1 into y squared because y is equal to x plus 1. And when we do that, we're going to end up with our lovely circle equation with no y's. And just simplifying, we're going to end up with this, which is 4x squared plus 9. Well, I think you kind of got it, which equals 36. From this point onwards, you've got to expand the x plus 1 squared so it's x squared plus 2x plus 1 and basically a whole lot of algebra later you are going to get let's see 13x squared plus 18x minus 25 equals 0 alright it's simply just um, expanding everything out and make it into a nice little quadratic now, on the next slide, we're going to look at the value of b squared minus 4ac first, just to figure out what kind of situation we're looking at. So as I was saying before, folks, we're going to try and work the discriminant. Once again, discriminant was b squared minus 4ac. So, what do we've got? Substitute b squared, which is 18 squared minus 4 times 13 times negative 25. Those are our values for B, A, and C, and we get a value of 1,624. Now, the discriminant is greater than zero, which means we are going to have intersection at two points. Okay, now we're going to try and figure out the two points. So, what we need to do is we actually need to solve 13x squared plus 18x minus 25 equals 0. Now, obviously, the quickest way of doing this would be just to put this in the graphics calculator and get the two x values. All right, so x should be 0.85, and um, the other value of x should be negative 2.24. And since y equals x plus 1, the two points of intersection are going to be 0 0.85 and 1.85 that's one of the points and the other intersection point is negative 2.24 and well just realized I made a mistake actually hold on that should be negative 1.24 so those are your two points for this um, for the equation here okay 
Now we're going to look at a different variety of question. This time the question is, what's the value of m if y equals mx plus 5 it's, is a tangent to the curve given by x squared plus y squared equals 9? Alright, so this time we're trying to figure out what m is. So the first thing we're going to do, as usual, is substitute mx plus 5 into y. And when we do that, we're going to get x squared plus mx plus 5 whole squared equals 9. So we have to expand the mx plus 5 squared. And when we do that, we get m squared x squared plus 10mx plus 25 equals 9. Mm, ideally, we would want to rearrange this and bring all your common terms together. So we're going to get m squared plus 1 which is multiplied by x squared, plus 10mx, and plus 16 equals 0. Now, we're going to use the discriminant because we know that it's a tangent. And if it is a tangent, then b squared minus 4ac should equal to 0. But let's actually figure out our uh, three letters first. So a is going to equal m squared plus 1 b is going to equal 10mx, c is going to equal 16. And as I said before, for tangent, b squared minus 4ac needs to equal 0. Okay, moving on to the next slide, because I'm obviously running out of space here. So we have b squared, which is 10m squared, minus 4 times a, which is going to be m squared plus 1, and C, which is 16. Expanding this, we're going to get 100m squared minus 64m squared plus 1. And of course, all this is equal to 0. I'll continue f to simplify it further. We should end up with 36m squared equals 64, which means m squared is 64 over 36. Or in other words, m would equal plus or minus 8 divided by 6. So the two possible gradients for this question will be the first one, which is 8 over 6, or negative 8 over 6. All right, sorry about the long video, guys, but um, had to cover these couple of um, ideas. But um, hopefully this helps you with the questions in the textbook. Thanks for watching.